our um, syllabus schedule. Today is our last day of class. Um, today is scheduled to be review for the final exam. I'll talk about what the final is going to be like, um, some resources you can use to review, and then I will just let you get to work um, doing whatever it is you need to do to get you ready to prepare. Um, the actual final exam is not until Friday of this week. It's 10.30 to 12.30 in this classroom. So I will not see you until Friday. No class Wednesday. It is cumulative. And let's take a look. Um, I just handed some. This is in the back of your packet. And I just handed you another sheet with it on there. Final exam is coming up. It is Friday at 10.30. The final exam covers these major topics. Linear and quadratic equations, exponents, roots, and fractional expressions. Um, and I, on the paper that I just handed out, I organized the material two different ways. Chronologically, so this is chronologically of how we studied things. First, we worked on solving linear equations. And we could solve them. We can write ratios and proportions. We can graph lines with using the slope and the y-intercept. Sorry. Yeah, using the slope and the y-intercept. Um, you can solve systems of linear equations, two un equations with two unknowns using substitution or elimination. Um, write linear equations that represent a real-world situation and solve word problems. And then we moved on to quadratics, and we can solve the quadratic equations by factoring. We can solve them by extracting roots or the quadratic formula. We can factor. We can find intercepts. Um, and we can find the vertex, and we can sketch graphs of quadratic equations. We can use quadratic equations to solve problems, like you, when we use the Pythagorean theorem, or when we talk about throwing something up in the air, and it's modeled by a quadratic equation. And we can interpret properties like the vertex and intercept um, for a model. Yes. Mm-hmm. Negative B over 2A. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. You are free to do it as you please. Yes, yes, I will not say find the vertex by doing this. I will just say find the vertex. And you can do whatever method you like. That's, is that what you're asking me? Right, just like with Oh, with factoring or the quadratic formula? Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, OK, there is one question on the test worth five points where I say you must solve it by factoring. And that's the only one. Everywhere else you can use what. Right. Well, right. And, and, but if you use a quadratic formula, I'll give you partial credit. So like if you get there and you just freeze, do it using the quadratic formula for like half credit. Yep. Yep. Right. It's not like that. No. There is one problem where I said you must solve this by factoring. Um, for, if you want full credit, you must solve it by factoring. Yeah. Everywhere else. Oh, then, yeah, then do the box. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay, so moving on from quadratics, we can look at you. We've spent a lot of time learning how to deal with exponents and roots um, and fractional expressions. Um, and that's all of your topics organized chronologically. On the reverse side of the paper I gave you, I organized it more thematically, um, where you can calculate and simplify expressions, right? And those expressions include factoring, um, exponents and radicals, fractional things. Um, you should be able to solve equations is the next big theme. And then you should be able to graph equations like lines and quadratics is the next big theme. And apply all of those things to in-context problems. So the front of that page is organized chronologically the way we learned it. 
and the back is thematically of the different things you should be able to do. Thinking about the test, um, we're going to have a two-hour time slot for the test, um, which is about um, one and a half times the length of a typical test. So it's a little bit longer than your standard test, 50% um, longer, but you get twice as much time. So you should have plenty of time. And Friday, um, I believe most of the math classes are going to be done giving finals. So if you need to stay longer, you sh we should have plenty of time. I won't kick you out at 12.30 if you need a little more time. Um, the test may include a few multiple choice or true-false true false problems, but the bulk of the test will involve showing your work. Be sure you do that because um, some work can earn partial credit even if your answer is wrong. You can use calculators but not graphing calculators. I will have some spare calculators available, right? Do what you can to bring a calculator. Um, just because other classes will be using those same calculators. You can use your perfect powers table, um, so you can bring that with you. Um, and you can also use one 8.5 by 11 inch piece of paper for notes, front and back. Size. That size, yeah. <laughs> That's the stick. Oh, well, people will ask, yeah, for sure. You can write formulas, definitions, example problems, lyrics to your favorite song. You can put whatever you want on that piece of paper, but it should be written or typed by you, right? You can't bring a photocopy of somebody else's sheet because you forgot to make yours. Um, and it should not be a photocopy of anything from the class packets or the notes. If you want something from your class packet or the notes or the textbook, you have to rewrite it on your notes or retype it is my way of like forcing you to study. Rewrite everything and you probably won't even have to look at your paper. Okay. So that's it. Any questions about the final? What it's going to be like? It just has to be your, you have to create it. You can type it or handwrite it, but you just it just can't be a photocopy of anything. Right, right. You just have to make it yourself, that's all. All right, so um, today's class is just going to be a, an open work session. You could work through, um, for resources, we have the uh, practice problems. I, on Moodle, the practice problems are there. Let's see, this is a different class. Let me get into my class. Okay, so if you go into our Moodle class, 096 practice problems um, are practice problems for, that go with the entire semester. You could work through that whole packet. This link that has playlists for videos for practice problems is videos of um, someone, usually Ian, solving all of those problems in a video, right? So you can practice the problems. If you get stuck, you can um, watch a video. This is the blank version. This has the solutions written out, so you can look at the solutions. If they don't make sense, you can watch the whole video. Um, so that is a major resource for studying. Um, and then I can't remember if I have a review in my math lab, but even if I don't, then the things I've already assigned you can always go back into and click try a similar problem. So you have unlimited review material in my math lab. I'll just take a quick look here. Homework. Okay, so there was a practice test for unit one and unit two, and then there's practice test unit three and four. Yes, yeah, so there isn't a practice test for the final. But you can do the old practice tests for the other two tests. No, I don't think there's anything in there. Pre-tests, old, old pre-tests. Um, and you can go into any old homework and do practice problems from there. All right. 
So again, this is going to be an unstructured class period. You can work on the practice problems packet. You can work on making your um, cheat sheet. Um, you could go use a computer and work in my math lab. Whatever you need. I'm available to help you as needed.